How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today I'm going to review some Manuka honey that I bought from Costco. Apparently it has all these medicinal properties. It's not just regular honey. It's actually really, really good for you. Sometimes my throat would get a little itchy from the dust that's flying around. And if I just take like a teaspoon of this and just kind of coat my throat with this, then the itchiness actually goes away. When I use regular honey, this does not happen. So with this in mind, let's open this package up and see what the quality is like in this Costco Manuka honey. I feel like I almost have to apologize for the huge packaging. This is Costco stuff. So they like to make things at least a certain size so that it's not too small, maybe for theft deterrence. They have this special rating UMF 10 plus, which is apparently very high. UMF 10 plus, MGO 263 plus, these are two different ways of measuring about the same thing, the quality of the honey. So this is raw, wild, and unpasteurized. So it does not destroy all the good contents that's inside the honey. Enjoy a spoonful in the morning or before a workout, but you gotta know this is sugary stuff, so you cannot overdo this. Make Manuka honey part of your daily beauty routine. Add it to your tea, toast, yogurt, or smoothies. If you add it to your tea, don't add it into too hot a tea because then it'll essentially cook your honey and all the goodness will be cooked out of your tea. So you gotta let it cool down a little bit before adding the honey in there. Comvita certified UMF Manuka honey comes from the Manuka super plant, which flowers just two to six per year. Enjoy this globally revered honey as part of your daily wellness routine. So it comes from the Manuka plant, the flower in the plant, and they have the bees that harvest the honey from it, of course. Manufacturer, distributor, email, product New Zealand. Gold standard only UMF. It's tested for three signature compounds found in genuine Manuka honey. The UMF grading system appraises the natural markers found in Manuka honey and assures purity and quality. UMF 10 is equivalent to 263 milligram per kilogram of methyl Glaxol MGO, which is the compound, I guess one of them that they're looking for. Ingredients is UMF 10 plus Manuka honey, non-GMO, whatever this is, five fans, gluten-free. This sign I believe is kosher. Our jars are BPA free, great. Open this thing finally. So here it is, the jar itself, which says basically the same thing as the outer packaging. There's 24 tablespoons, one tablespoon per serving, 60 calories. So this type of nutrition label doesn't really measure this Manuka goodies over here, which is UMF 10 plus monofloral Manuka honey, which means a single kind of flower. Best if used by April 16, 2023, which is about two years from right now. Let me open this up here. You have this seal. Let me just poke in it with a spoon and see. Yeah, it looks like it's not just a top that's just kind of solid looking color. It's all like this, all the way inside. Give this a smell test. Doesn't smell very floral. I've had other kinds that smells a lot better. It almost smells like nothing. It's not giving off a lot of, um, you know, like flowery smell. Neither is this spoon, which I just dug in. And let me give this a taste test. Tastes like honey. It doesn't run as much as normal honey, where it's very, it's kind of like clarified and it's been heat treated. So then, you know, all this solid looking stuff where it's kind of opaque. Um, it's been boiled out and it's really clear. So this definitely tastes like there's some content inside. This bottle over here costs about $40 or so. Of course, the cost that you're going to pay when you go to Costco is going to vary a little bit. And this is really good. This is almost like, it's like something you can just have as a candy. I guess it tastes like good honey, like um, very uniform and very honey tasting. I don't know how to describe this, but normal honey, you have a certain honey taste. This one has quite a bit more honey taste. At first, when I tried this, I was just thinking, hey, it's something fancy to try. But I was sold on it when 
like I said, when my throat started to itch and I actually just take a tablespoon of this and just coat the my throat with it, there's some sort of healing property with this and it does feel like it gets a lot better. So, you know, just from that, I feel like, hey, if, if it can do this to my throat, then, you know, it's probably really, really good for you. Although it's, you know, quite an expensive thing to buy. If you never had a Manuka honey before, the more concentrated it is, the more costly it is per unit of whatever compound that's in there. So you can actually get a less concentrated version, but in total, it has about the same amount of compounds as this bottle. And then the total of that would be cheaper. So the lower in the scale that you go, the cheaper per unit of compound it is. So you can actually pay less money for a less concentrated form if you just eat more of it, maybe you have it in a tea every day then versus having it in a concentrated form. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed this analysis. If you never heard of Manuka honey, do give this a try. Maybe you can get like a, you know, a smaller bottle just to give it a try first. I'll leave a link for some of the Manuka honey I've purchased before on Amazon, although this particular bottle is from Costco. And if you have a Costco membership, I would recommend to get this instead on Costco because it is cheaper. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.